Hello, this is Patrice Lawrence with the final right here, right now prompt of my residency. Um, as with the two previous prompts, we'll start with a very quick 90 second exercise. And the exercise is your way of comparing writing to something. The exercise came from um, an initial sort of writing prompt given by the poet Caroline Bird at um, an event that I went to. And she was saying that writing is sometimes elevated to this really massive thing. It's tortured, it's difficult. You have to get the words out perfect. Well, actually you can make fun of it in writing. So she gave us all a different um, words that we had to compare writing to. So mine was tapeworm. Writing is like a tapeworm because a story is curled up inside you and it might be difficult to pull it out, but when it's gone, there's something missing. So feeling really topical and looking out across some very cold, snowy looking scaffolding. Um, today's prompt for you, 90 seconds, spill it all out, idea dump, don't worry about spelling. Writing is like an oncoming snowstorm because 90 seconds. And I shall keep time for you. And you can make the comparison anything. Think of the sounds, the flutter, the feel, the breeze or snow, the disappointment. The way snow and a white sky can change everything. Just use any points of comparison you like to describe the process or feel of writing. 50 seconds left. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I want to go back then for our uh, writing prompts today. We're going to have three mini ones all associated with the same picture. Um, I want to go back to my idea of fury and anger. So I have a picture for you. Right, this is the picture. So your first seven minute um, piece of prompt is from the point of view of this child who has been pegged to a washing line. Very strong pegs there. So I want you to write, this little boy is furious, right in his voice, a monologue from his point of view, and he is furious. If you want, give him an age, give him a name. You don't have to do the, the either of that. But he is furious and he might even not even use the word furious to describe how he feels, but write his anger. And in that monologue, you can write how he got there if you want. You can just write spitting fury, but starting now, seven minutes. And if you're stuck, you can think also that the sensory side of it. He can angrily describe what he sees, what he feels. He's got a breeze around his belly, hasn't he? Is it cold? Is it hot? Is he worried that it's going to slip out the clothes altogether and dump naked to the grass? Is he 
Is he humiliated? Is he impressed he can keep his balance? Whatever it is, he is furious. Who is he furious with? Halfway through. Ninety seconds.
One minute. Thirty seconds. Sorry. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that's the boys monologue. The second seven minute monologue, you're going to write um, a monologue by the person, not who pegged him up there, but somebody who witnessed it and felt helpless to do anything. So you're kind of the onlooker where you are, whether you're hidden, whether you're part of a group, um, whether you're a tiny child, whether you're an adult, you could even write in the voice of a pet or an animal, a cat or a dog, but you two are furious, you're furious. And you could be furious with yourself and all the people who did it, or indeed the child, but you witnessed this and you're angry. So right in the point of view of an onlooker who is furious, seven minutes.
just over halfway through. Ninety seconds, well, just less. One minute. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And of course, lastly, a monologue, a furious monologue by the person or persons, it can be a group, who pegged that child to the line. They are furious, but what are they furious at? What are they furious about something else in the world, something that happened earlier, something that's got nothing to do with that child, something that child represents, are they making a point? So who pegged that child there and why? And why are they so furious? So last seven minutes, write their monologue starting now.
halfway through. Yes, Ninety seconds. One minute. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there you have it. Three monologues of fury that I hope you will maybe find useful and you can develop into something further. Thank you so much for visiting my prompts this week. I hope you were able to produce some lovely pieces of work and maybe share it with me later in the Block Social. Thank you. Bye-bye.